Hey guys, this is Corey Bystead over at Bicious RV in Junction City, Oregon. I'm here to show you the Alliance Valor 37V13. So this is a killer rig. Um, it's a toy hauler. So right off the bat, you're going to see this is a full size front cap. That means that the measurement from here to here is full. It's a full fifth wheel. The consistency of the ceiling height is really noticed inside the, in the floor plan. So I'll show you that. So coming on through here, I'll show you how much room you have right here. This is your through storage bay. Okay. Now coming on up into the solid steps, I'll show you what the inside is like. So this rig right now does have solar on it. So we are able to get all the lights on, just being outside right here and not worry about power at all. So here's your floor plan. You have your L-shaped kitchen, you have the TV, fireplace, entertainment area, your seating right here. These do recline, this is not a bed. Up there is a bed, so just so you know that. And then right here you do have a closet. So they found out, closet, pantry. So they found out where to, you know, put that stuff. And then right here is your refrigerator. Then you also have your freezer set up. Super nice, this works off of 12 volts. So it's not really hard to power this thing with electricity. Now right here you have your cooktop, you have your microwave. This is how much storage you have above it. Everything in the whole rig is um, soft close hinged and it has magnets. So when you go to pull on a door, don't feel scared that it's kind of tough because it's just magnets. You're not going to break a magnet by pulling it open. And then right here you can see on the inside we have some drawer setup stuff. And you have it all below here too. Now cool thing at what this is saying, so and I'll show you right here. This point right here inside of the drawer. So this is the weak point of every drawer. If you're going to have something break through, it's because something heavy is right in the middle. Now, right underneath, if you look, we have this piece of wood right here bracing the hole underneath of it. Right there. So that's on every drawer in the whole rig um, to try to kind of like um, give you all that extra weight. Now, you'll also notice we don't have any carpets anywhere inside of here. So that's a, you know, that's going to be every alliance the Valor, the Avenue, and the Paradigm are all going to have no carpets. Now coming on into the hall space. See it's got a really nice floor. This is the track system. So you can get as many D-rings as you want and then kind of put them wherever you need them to be for your toys. So better tie downs, safety, stuff like that. Um, Right here is your beds. You have this top one, this below one. You have a table right here. And basically what's going to happen is that this bed comes up, which takes this bed up with it. And then they just stay against the ceiling. That way you can roll some toys into here. If you need the extra height, you can take this bed and swivel it against the wall. So um, when it's up here, you pull a pin and they can kind of go down against the wall so you can get to that extra height if you needed it for your roll cage or whatever you got going on. Now this does, as you can see in the back, have the sliding glass doors and it also does have the party deck made by Moride. So that way you can have the ramp out, dogs won't jump off, kids won't fall off. Um, and then you can kind of have the, the ramp open giving you all the breeze, but you can have the screen doors closed. Now you do have a TV right here too. So if you got people sleeping in here, they do have that source of entertainment. And you also right here have your bathroom. This is in the corner on the other side of the wall. So it's not going to inconvenience your hall space really. We have washer and dryer hookups right here just in case if you needed that, uh, this is where it would go. 
a stackable would probably go right there. And then right here we have all this extra space. It's nice to have extra shelves, storage. Now coming on upstairs. There's your bathroom setup. When I said everything is soft close hinged, even your toilet seat is soft close hinged and you can't slam it. I'm pushing it down. So that's super, super nice. Um, kind of looking into here, you got these LEDs going around your mirror and it looks really, really cool. I'm a big fan of that. Now right here, this is something I never would have known if they didn't do it. But they would have had all this wasted space right here, but they just decided to give you a little little box so you can put stuff there. You wouldn't have even known that it would have been wasted space on the other side of that wall. Now right here we got a fully molded fiberglass shower. Really good design right here. Really sturdy. Um, it's not squishing, it's not bouncy, it's not flimsy in the walls. As strong as mine in the house. And then you got this shower head that can come off and you can do that thing. Now, I'm 5'9", so if you're 5'9", you get an idea. If you're taller than me, then maybe you can guess, I don't know. You also have storage behind the mirror as well. There we go. Now making our way into the bedroom. Here's a little secret spot right here. Soft close hinge. You also got your drawers. So there's your dresser. TV already installed. You have your windows right here. This is an emergency exit so you can jump out to your doom. This rig, I should add, does have um, three ACs in it, which is better than doing just tons of ducts off of less ACs because ducts, um, as they do travel air through it, it's hotter in your roof, just like your house. So by the time the air goes through the duct, it's warming down and then it's also losing pressure for it to blow out. So you have to crank your AC on a higher fan speed to get them to be efficient in cooler settings. So with three ACs, now this one will have, you know, ducting so you can turn them and get that angle right just in the bedroom. But when you have three ACs, then you can have it come right out of the unit. This is also the quiet AC. And then on top of that, uh, when it comes right out of the unit, because of the efficiency of all that cold air coming right out and you don't need to crank it up for more pressure. Um, you can also have it on a lower fan speed, which also is kind of like a double, double quiet because you don't have to crank them as hard. So you have this to cool up off the bathroom and the bedroom. You have one to cool off the whole living room and kitchen area. You have one to cool off the whole garage space in the back. So that's going to be really helpful to you. Now right into here. Oh, you have this spot right here about this big let's see that wide I don't know this measurement 5'9 guy do this so then um, you can open these this way and here's the other side gotta open the latch so this is your whole closet space right here now you do have some lights right here you have a rod you have some floor space. You can put a side-by-side -side washer and dryer right here if that's what you're trying to do. It does accommodate for that. So you notice you have washer and dryer hookups upstairs and downstairs. So if you want to keep your closet and you want to do you know, the side-by-side, -side, uh, you have the choice to do that. Keep your closet over for putting your dryer there, your washer and dryer, or um, lose your closet but have the different the different uh, style. It's up to you and whatever you need. You also notice we have this ledge right here. And then we have the same kind of spot right here that the other one had. And so you can have a bunch of shirts hanging here. So with that being said, you can hang all your shirts right here. All your shirts over there for both people. You have a dresser for pants and whatever you want to do. Three drawers and extra long drawers. So then you could look at this closet. You could put a rack in here to try to, you know, hold everything else. Or 
if you want to put a side-by-side -side washer and dryer, you do have quite a bit of closet space without actually using this part. Um, based on who you are and how much you have, this might work out for you going this route. But you always, like I said, you can just do the washer and dryer stackable in the back and that works too. So this is an awesome rig. This is one of my favorites. This is the Valor. This is a king size bed, by the way. If you have any questions on this rig at all, you can call me, Corey Bystead, at 541-735-1535. Like and subscribe.